Okay folks, welcome to getting yourself organized with Org Mode. This snippet is about outline mode with headlines. There are some simple rules. Every headline starts with one or more asterisks. You see it here. It's one asterisk for a level 1 headline, two for a level 2 and three for a level 3 and so on. Headlines, at the moment we see all. But we can cycle visibility. If we go here on this headline and I press top button, have a look here, you will see the top button is pressed and you see here it's collapsed. So everything below that on level 2 and level 3 and so on is hidden. I press top again, I see the level 2 things and if I press top again I see completely everything packed out and it's like before. This was local because I only changed what's below this headline. I can also press shift tab to do it globally. So everything is collapsed now and everything is opening again. Then we have the possibility to indent headlines. You see this one should be a level 2 block but it's level 1. And I could put a asterisk in here but then the indentation of this line is broken so we better press alt cursor right and it's indented and of course we can also move it back or move it so and we can pull move things up or down as well so if you see this uh, level 2 I can move down I can move up again but I can't move it across the level 1 headline on the other hand I can take this level 1 construct this block and move it up completely or back down. Uh, the last thing is I have a block here that should be of course not a level 1 headline, it should be a level 2 headline and it should go there. So how do we do it? It's easy, we pre uh, place our cursor on that line, we press Ctrl C, Ctrl W and now we are asked where should that item go and the item should go to top item so it's enough to write TO press top and it's doing an auto completion here I press return and now you see the item disappeared here and moved up here and is really a level 2 headline under top items so this is the basic concept of headlines outlining you can structure your thoughts and before we start over with the next thing, we make a file now that's our brain dump um, with all the things I want to do. So wait a minute and I'll be back.